Did you know that you can now make thousands of pounds for selling empty, empty bottles of whiskey on eBay? It's 2023, the world's gone mad, and I kind of feel like this needs to stop. So I'm reaching out to everyone watching this video to help me decide on how we can help to end this problem. So the market is awash on eBay with empty bottles of whiskey. And what's wrong with this? I think the first point to address here is that I don't believe that the sellers are the people to blame here. People putting an empty bottle of whiskey on eBay to sell and make a few thousand pounds or so cannot be blamed. They're not doing anything technically against eBay's rules. You know, eBay allows them to be sold. And technically, a empty bottle of whiskey is completely harmless, isn't it? It's just an empty bottle of whiskey. You're selling it because it's someone wants to collect it and have empty bottles around them. So I think first and foremost, the blame isn't lying with the people here. But we all know that an empty bottle of whiskey isn't necessarily harmless because what can you do with an empty bottle of whiskey? Well, it's really simple. You fill it up with similar colored whiskey or similar colored water to the original bottle. You then get a capsule from a normal sealed bottle of whiskey that matches it and you seal it back up again. Is it hard to do? It really isn't that hard to do. There are commercially available machines that will put those capsules back onto the bottles and you would never know that they've been off in the first instance. So this is a massive problem in some ways, which we'll get to in a second. Now, the thing is with these fakes is that, do they pose a threat to the market? Well. Yes and no. So yes, obviously, if you take an empty bottle of, a genuine empty bottle, fill it with fake liquid, put a genuine capsule on it and seal it back up again, it's gonna pass almost every scrutiny that could be thrown at it. It's for all intents and purposes, all made out of genuine parts, except from the whiskey. And who's gonna ever know that? Because you'll never, you know, most collectors never open the bottles anyway. And would they have a base mark to compare it to, for, for example, and this is what happened with the big wine faking case uh, over in America about a decade ago, I think it was. Uh, they were faking very high-end, you know, very good quality French wines, but using very high-end quality American wines. And when tasted, people didn't really know to expect too much difference. So they didn't really even notice that the, you know, that the wine itself was, was different. So they pose a massive existential threat to the industry because you would never really be able to tell that they are fakes. But then again, I don't really think they are a huge threat to the industry. People don't need to start running around and panicking about this. It still needs to be addressed, which we'll get to in a moment, but wh why isn't this a threat to the industry? Well, simply put, there's not really that much money in faking bottles. So let, let's look at this example. We'll put it on screen now. There's, a, there's an empty 30 year old uh, blue label Macallan from the late 90s, early 2000s, which sold for a thousand pounds. And there's an empty box on eBay at the moment for around 1500 pounds. So pop them together, put a capsule on it, fake the liquid, you're looking at two and a half grand cost for a bottle that you could probably sell at auction for between six and seven and a half thousand pounds. So on a good day, you're making 5,000 pound profit, which is all right if you did it once, but could you do it again? Probably not. There's probably not enough bottles out there to make it worth doing for any scammer on an industrial scale to do this, because why would you? With wine, you would fake cases of wine because you get 12 bottles of Chateau Lafitte and you fake it and you've got a very expensive case of wine. And you, you know, there's more money in those cases. The problem with whiskey is that there's not really that much value to it. So how do you make money in whiskey scams? Well, you go to casks, of course, and this is where the serious fraud office have shut down cask scams from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and the FBI have just shut one down in the 2020s. Why would you fake bottles when you can just basically print a piece of paper that says you own this cask and it might not ever exist and you get your money hand over fist. So you'd make a lot more money than selling like empty fake or, you know, re refaking these bottles. You're buying genuine bottles and refilling. Now, you know, you can, you can just buy any cask and put a massive margin on it and probably sticks more than a five grand margin on it. You know, we, we've spoke to some customers recently who have paid like more than 300,000 pounds too much for a single cask. That is where the scammers are getting involved. That's in where the fakers are getting involved. So, and you know, the other thing to mention here is that the bottles don't necessarily pose that much of a threat in terms of every industry has its fakes, watches, handbags, jewelry, all luxury markets, art, everything. There are fakes, they are prolific. But this is the crux of it. 
Should we let this carry on? We know why people are buying these empty bottles on eBay. They're, they're, you know, are you one of the buyers that are just buying it to stick on your shelf behind you and go, oh, look, I drank this bottle. It's, it's what a waste of money. The, we know that these are being bought by people who are going to make fake bottles with them. So what can we do as a community to stop this? I don't know. I've tried to reach out to eBay and I've hit a brick wall. So why don't we all as a community get in the comments below and see what we can do to fix this? You know, what do you think? Is there really a problem here? Are a few bottles being sold here and there that are going to be refilled and enter back onto the market a problem? Get in the comments and let's see how we as a community can fix this.